This is the story of the one. As head of maintenance at a concert hall, he knows the show must always go on. That's why he works behind the scenes, ensuring every light is working, the HVAC is humming, and his facility shines. With Granger's supplies and solutions for every challenge he faces, plus 24-7 customer support, his venue never misses a beat. Call quickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Sojo 1049, South Jersey Morning Show. Good morning. It is Lou and Shannon. I have a question for yes. you guys. Okay. Do you want to be a baller, a shot caller? You want to impress somebody and look like the Mac. <laughs> do you? <laughs> okay. All the time. Yeah, I mean, listen, who would say no to that? I've got a way for you to do it. All right. Have you heard of Uber Jets? Uber Jets. Yes, not Uber the car service. Oh, it's good. a separate company, but it's similar. That's going to make a lot of noise in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's similar, though, because you can just order up your transportation right on your phone. You can order up your own private chat. Wow. So let me, see, let me see if I have this right. They like you, fly like they land like right on your street yeah. <laughs> in your neighborhood. No, but they ask you your intersection. <laughs> yeah, but they're they're right here in New Jersey. They're going to multiple places in Jersey. This is a brand new company. So I'm, I'm looking through. They're going to be at um, Mammoth Jet Center, Atlantic City, Morristown Airport and Teterboro Airport. So you, you literally can just sort of. What, reserve a private jet? Yep, you could pick your pilot, you could pick your aircraft, <laughs> you can pick your destination, and you are just such a baller right on your phone. You secure it, and your whole family can go, and they can use it. It's unlimited flights if you become a member of their club for $14,500 a year. Well, what kind of information do they give you to help you pick a pilot? All the I, safety information. They, they go through everything. it with a fine-tooth comb. He's nine for his last ten, that type of thing? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all the safety <laughs> ratings are there. It's like super vetted. I, it's crazy. It's the most yeah. slick thing I think I've ever seen. Now, if you're a member the first year, like I said, it's 14500 The second year, it reduces down to 9500 Everyone in your family is allowed to use it. Wow. And, you know, you have to pay for the cost of the flight as well. So whatever the gas is going to be right. and that kind of thing. So the, so the fee is you become, a, you know, you're a member. You're in this in this circle, and you get you, unlimited flights if you're a member. The helicopters, or is it just not planes? private jets? Oh, man. If it was helicopters, I would be flying out of here all the time. You're like, see it. I'm way too superstitious to pick a pilot. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Like, it's all on you at that point. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not doing that. So, Joe, one zero four nine. It's Lou and Shannon. There's a lot of news around about comedians. Yeah, it's crazy. So here's the update on Dave Chappelle. By the way, if you had or living under a rock, and you didn't know uh, Dave Chappelle was attacked on stage at Hollywood Bowl, and he was doing a show, and this guy with a fake gun, but it had a knife in it, tackled him and started attacking Dave Chappelle. Scary. Very scary. Well, the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office just said they're not going to pursue felony charges against Isaiah Lee, the guy who attacked Chappelle. So wait, I, I'm not a, a legal guy, but does that mean... No, uh, no felony charges. Does that mean nothing? I mean, he's not, he's not even, there's no trouble for him? He is getting charged with four misdemeanors, okay. including battery and possession of a weapon. Uh -huh. But, I mean, come on. I mean, how do you not get a felony charge for that? Yeah, I mean, he went up there to attack somebody, you know? And, and you know what else is really funny to me and, and just like almost like a full circle moment? Chris Rock was present watching this happened. Chris, and every, Chris Rock was at Chappelle's show when he got attacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, of course, everyone was saying after Chris Rock got smacked by Will Smith, oh, man, this is going to be like a copycat crime. It's going to happen again. Chris Rock was literally in the audience watching it happen. Unbelievable. Again. And he actually took the moment to make the best possible joke he possibly could after Dave Chappelle was attacked. Was that Will Smith? <laughs> I mean, as a comedian, could you have better timing? Yeah, and you wondered when you know, those two words were going to come out of his mouth. Couldn't have been a more perfect time. He, he was like, "This is my moment." It was awesome. Uh, so you know, it's it's you can we can laugh about it because Chappelle didn't get hurt. Correct. I mean, it could this could have been a really serious thing, and nobody would have been joking about it. But thank goodness it didn't work out. That well, way. you know who got hurt was the guy who did the crime. Yeah. All the comedians backstage. And by the way, Dave Chappelle owes Jamie Fox and his security detail because Jamie Fox was also present a fruit basket. Why? Because they were the ones who completely got that guy off Dave Chappelle and saved him. Wow. And then they all beat the stuff out of him backstage. That guy, if you see the pictures, he is an 
in bad shape. They snapped his arm and contorted it and broke his wrist, and that's what you get. Wow. I, I mean, I'm still not completely... I'm not completely understanding how everybody's sort of on high alert after the Will Smith thing and everybody's talking about comedians being in danger. And this guy managed to get on that stage with a weapon. It's just scary. You know what? And I misspoke yesterday because we were saying, oh, you know, comedians have this intimate relationship. They're really close to the audience and it's, you know, a little easier. Not with this particular event. As I read a little more about it and talked to some people who live in Hollywood and who were at the event, they're like, no, it's a big space with metal detectors and there's like this pit by the stage where all the rich people sit. Yeah, so there's no way this guy should have gotten there. There's no way this guy should have gotten there. I'm picturing a a concert at the the art center, right? And you got yeah. that gap in between the stage, and mm-hmm. that's not easy to get past security. So, no. I mean, it's just a little odd to me. But anyway, glad everybody's okay. So, Joe 1049, it's Lou and Shannon. We're always looking for a great way to lose weight. Yeah, I came in today. I told Lou, I was so excited. I told Jimmy, too. I was like, as of today, I stepped on the scale. I lost 40 pounds. As of today, with Neva weight loss. That's awesome. Congratulations. Which, thank you. Thank you. But uh, not as easy and fun as this guy's plan. This guy did it by uh, drinking beer. That's all he did. He put himself on a fast and he drank beer for 40 days. That's what he's doing. He's giving up food. So he didn't eat. No. And he just drank beer for 40 days. (laughs) He's got to eat something. No, I got a nice buzz going too because that's an empty stomach. Was his name Jimmy? (laughs) No, I know. His name is Ken Anderson. And uh, so he did this last year. And in 40 days, he lost 40 pounds. Or no, I'm sorry, 50 pounds. Well, because he didn't eat. Correct. And he consulted his doctor and said, hey, you know, I want to do this thing again. And the doctor's response was, you're stupid if you do this. Well, do you think? But if you're going to do it, you have to take two multivitamins a day and stay super hydrated and then drink your beer for your calories. And that's what he's doing. So he, instead of eating, Mm -hmm. just had a beer. For 40 days, drinks beer all day long. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh Uh-huh. That's the kind of diet I like. The kind you... Do and forget. Like you don't even remember. <laughs> it's doing a blur. It. You know? I mean, and he lost 50 pounds. He did last year. And this year he says he wants to lose another 40 pounds. And, um, you know, he co owns a brewery. So I think that's how this all came about. But ah. he does have a daughter with a disability and he raises money for charity for people who want to go back into the workplace or enter the workplace if they have disabilities. So it's a great charitable oh, thing awesome. as well. That's really, that's really great. He raised $10,000 last year. He's hoping to do that too. He has a GoFundMe page. Again, his name is Ken Anderson. So if you want to contribute or if you want to try it yourself, just. You know, follow the rules. I, I did guess. this date, uh, this diet in college. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's forty years. days drinking, but the problem is, I I ate cheesesteaks, pizza, yeah, French fries, yeah. oh. drunk food. Jimmy's yeah. here and listen. He's like, I'm gonna lose seven pounds tonight. Tonight. <laughs> So, Joe 1049, South Jersey's best mix from 2K to today. It's Lou and Shannon. Yes, you can get a bargain. You can, especially in real estate. Who knew? <laughs> right. right here in Jersey. It's crazy. With this market, it's unbelievable. There's a four bedroom, two full bath home on Oak Street in Salem for only $5,000. It is officially New Jersey's most affordable home. So what's the catch, you might think? Enter at your own risk. If the real estate agent tells you that, you know you need a hard hat. Right. The real estate agent can flower anything up. And if that's the best they could come up with, you got to wonder. You can check it out on our Sojo 1049 app. Sojo 1049, South Jersey's best mix from 2K to today. Lou and Shannon, Wonder Years News. I used to love that show. And ABC is doing a reboot because guess what? There's no new ideas anymore. Everyone's rebooting everything. Yeah, you get a show that everybody loved like that. And that's your best bet, right? Right. And what better person to be the executive producer and director of the new series than Fred Savage? Right. You know, he was perfect for that role. Well, he just got fired. Because because he has three separate allegations against him for him losing his cool, just anger on the set and, you know, venomous words and things like that. As far as I can tell, it's not any sexual inappropriate behavior accusations going on. It's more along the lines of his, um, I don't know, angry demeanor. Yeah, it sounds like it's not a fun place to work. If, but if that's it, the case. it blows my mind because what do you mean, little Kevin? Right, right. That's He's true. such a cutie patootie. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to imagine, right? Well, <sighs> well, I guess they'll get to the bottom of it. But that's kind of sad news to hear about somebody you loved so much. I know. I, I guess it's just going to continue on without him. But, you know, I would have liked to have him be a part of the mix. I guess we'll get more details as they come in. Yeah, and we'll pass them along as soon as we know. Sojo1049.
Central 1049 South Jersey's best mix from 2K to today. It's Lou and Shannon. It's great news when the topic is a good topic that somebody local gets national attention. Yeah, what's going on in May's Landing? So Funny Farm and its founder, Lauren Zaleski, uh, are now nationally famous. It's an animal rescue and People magazine featured them and highlights Zaleski's memoir, Funny Farm, My Unexpected Life with 600 Rescue Animals. It's a great story, and it's right here in our backyard, and now everybody's going to know about it. Very cool. So you can check it out. All the details are on our Sojo 1049 app. Sojo 1049, South Jersey Morning Show. Good morning. It is Lou and Shannon. I have a question for you guys. Okay. Do you want to be a baller, a shot caller? You want to impress somebody and look like the Mac? (laughs) Do you? (laughs) All the time. Yeah, I mean, listen, who would say no to that? I've got a way for you to do it. All right. Have you heard of Uber Jets? Uber Jets. Yes. Not Uber the car service. Well, it's good. a separate company, but it's similar. That's going to make a lot of noise in the neighborhood. It's, yeah. yeah, it's similar, though, because you can just order up your transportation right on your phone. You can order up your own private jet. Wow. So let me, let me see if I have this right. They like you, fly like they land like right on your street yeah. <laughs> in your neighborhood. No, but <laughs> they ask you your intersection. <laughs> yeah, but they're they're right here in New Jersey. They're going to multiple places in Jersey. This is a brand new company. So I'm, I'm looking through. They're going to be at um, Mammoth Jet Center, Atlantic City, Morristown Airport and Teterboro Airport. So you, you literally can just sort of. What, reserve a private jet? Yep, you could pick your pilot, you could pick your aircraft, <laughs> you can pick your destination, and you are just such a baller right on your phone. You secure it, and your whole family can go, and they can use it. It's unlimited flights if you become a member of their club for $14,500 a year. Well, what kind of information do they give you to help you pick a pilot? All the I'm, safety information. They, they go through everything. it with a fine-tooth comb. He's nine for his last ten, that type of thing? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all the safety (laughs) ratings are there. It's like super vetted. It's crazy. It's the most slick thing I think I've ever seen. Now, if you're a member the first year, like I said, it's 14,500. The second year, it reduces down to 9,500. Everyone in your family is allowed to use it. Wow. And, you know, you have to pay for the cost of the flight as well. So whatever the gas is going to be and that kind of thing. So the, so the fee is you become a, you know, you're a member. You're in this in this circle, and you get you, unlimited flights if you're a member. The helicopters, or is it just not planes? private jets? Oh, man. If it was helicopters, I would be flying out of here all the time. You're like, see it. I'm way too superstitious to pick a pilot. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Like, it's all on you at that point. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not doing that. Show 104.9. It's Lou and Shannon. We're always looking for a great way to lose weight. Yeah, I came in today. I told Lou. I was so excited. I told Jimmy too. I was like, as of today, I stepped on the scale. I lost 40 pounds. As of today, with Neva weight loss. That's awesome. Congratulations. Which, thank you. Thank you. But uh, not as easy and fun as this guy's plan. This guy did it by uh, drinking beer. That's all he did. He put himself on a fast and he drank beer for 40 days. That's what he's doing. Wait he's giving up food. So he didn't eat. No. And he just drank beer for 40 days. <laughs> he's got to eat something. No, nah, I got a nice buzz going, too, because that's an empty stomach. Was his but- name Jimmy? <laughs> no, I know. His name is Ken Anderson. And uh, so he did this last year. And in 40 days, he lost 40 pounds. Or no, I'm sorry, 50 pounds. Well, because he didn't eat. Correct. And he consulted his doctor and said, hey, you know, I want to do this thing again. And the doctor's response uh, was, hey, you're stupid if you do this. Well, do you think? But like- if you're going to do it, you have to take two multivitamins a day and stay super hydrated and then drink your beer for your calories. And that's what he's doing. So he, instead of eating, Mm -hmm. just had a beer. For 40 days, drinks beer all day long. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh Uh-huh. That's the kind of diet I like, the kind you do and forget. Like you don't even remember. (laughs) It's a blur. I mean, and he lost 50 pounds. He did last year. And this year he says he wants to lose another 40 pounds. And, um, you know, he co-owns a brewery. So I think that's how this all came about. But Uh, he does have a daughter with a disability and he raises money for charity for people who want to go back into the workplace or enter the workplace if they have disabilities. So it's a great charitable thing as well. That's really, that's really great. He raised $10,000 last year. He's hoping to do that too. He has a GoFundMe page. Again, his name is Ken Anderson. And so if you want to contribute or if you want to try it yourself, just, you know, follow the rules. I, I did this date, uh, this diet in college. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's 40 days <laughs> drinking. But the problem is I, I ate cheesesteaks, pizza, yeah, French fries, you know, oh. drunk food. Jimmy's yeah. hearing this and he's like, I'm going to lose seven pounds tonight. Tonight. <laughs> this is the story of the one. 
As head of maintenance at a concert hall, he knows the show must always go on. That's why he works behind the scenes, ensuring every light is working, the HVAC is humming, and his facility shines. With Granger's supplies and solutions for every challenge he faces, plus 24-7 customer support, his venue never misses a beat. Call quickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done.